Hello, um, I'm Anne-Marie Fleming and I'm the director of Window Horses, which is the animated feature that you guys are going to be watching in this drive-in tonight, which is totally exciting. Um, I'm in Vancouver right now and um, when I was uh, selected, well when my film was selected to present for you guys, uh, Drift asked me to also select um, a short film by an emerging filmmaker to show in front of window horses and um, I was so excited uh, to be able to um, to recommend to you um, uh, this great film by Caroline Lee who is a uh, an, a filmmaker from Vancouver also and who I happen to know which is not why we're showing the film because we're showing the film because it's amazing but I do happen to know her so let's call her up oh the zoom hi carolyn oh hi <laughs> how are you i know this is a little strange <laughs> but uh i think that to sort of personalize this experience um uh they'd like us to just talk about our films a little bit and then talk about how we know each other and would that be okay oh yeah totally okay so um we used to work together. Car uh, Caroline helped me with my social media campaign when Window Horses was going all around the world. And um, that was pretty heady days. It seemed like crazy when we were all traveling and making and thinking. And, um, you know, Window Horses is a film about uh, peace, love, and understanding and about opening yourself up to other cultures and to see yourself in them as well. And, um, you know, I knew that you were a student at the time, but I'd never seen any of your work. And then um, I saw The Bottom of the Sea and it totally blew me away. And that was before it won Best Short Film at the Vancouver International Film Festival. Um, and uh, apparently my name is in the credits. So, <laughs> so, so um, did I inspire you at all? Oh. Yeah, you did. Um, yeah, I, I put anybody uh, who inspired me and was a mentor in some way or taught me um, something that was foundational to the film. So that's what I why I put you in there. And I was working with you for um, several years. So um, you definitely taught me a lot about filmmaking and the filmmaking business. Um, yeah, also your films uh, waving and um your other short analog um or not analog they're probably on digital uh analog digital but those inspired me a lot and i think those were really groundbreaking for their time as well well it's funny because i i certainly could see some of my early work like you oh, take really? care now in it like yeah. and i was mixing up analog and digital because we were right on the cusp of change so it's pretty interesting but uh you want to talk i mean we don't want to give away the film because we're about to see it but do you want to say anything to introduce your film uh hmm, okay so this uh film was made during a time when um i guess it was my graduation film uh at emily Carr university and um it was a time when i was first learning how to use uh, 16 millimeter analog film and so um, I feel like it was the first big film that I made that was representative of how I I felt as a filmmaker and so I took the this Bolex camera that I was just learning to use and I I took it to Korea and I just stayed there for a month traveling a bit around the country so um, this film is the result of that <laughs> that kind of like first journey yeah wow uh first journey to korea huh that's so interesting it's such a it's oh not such not an first journey portrait. oh yeah oh i've been to korea before but um oh uh, well, uh, but okay. first journey oh alone. first journey and alone. as a filmmaker yeah traveling by huh. myself huh yeah huh it's uh yeah it's a beautiful film and um uh, i'm glad you could be here I'm, I think uh, the films are interesting because they're both going to different cultures, different countries, 
different languages, the, the protagonists, if we can call it, have a very different relationship to that culture. Um, but uh, it's kind of it's kind of cool to see them together. Actually, Anne Marie, I have a question for you. Um, in your film Window Horses, um, it kind of explores uh, approaching uh, learning of one's own culture and and background. Um, do you think that's relevant at all to um, what's going on today in terms of, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> it's the, just, like... It seems to be it seems to be the conversation, right? It seems to be the conversation, and um, you know, all my work, and maybe it's also because of um, my generation too. You know, has always been about race, class, and culture. I mean, like I'm a feminist, I'm a modernist, a postmodernist. But I'm also a person with many hybrid identities and I've lived all over the world and my family is very mixy, right? We're from a lot of different places. And, and I, I grew up with a lot of people, like a lot of women uh, older than me who, who were also mixed race. And um, they're very complex, hi complex hybrid um, identities. I'm very interested in identity and I'm very interested in how we're all connected. You know, window horses, um, you know, you, this is usually something I'd say at the end during a discussion, not at the beginning, but it takes place in Iran and the character is half Asian, half Iranian. She knows nothing of her Iranian past and she's, you know, Canadian. Um, you know, as an immigrant here, um, of course, I'm interested in other immigrant stories. Um, and I'm doing something that always terrifies me, which is I am actually in implicating myself in, in another culture that is not my own, right? And um, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's the best, the nicest thing that anybody has said to me about Window Horses, uh, which is about a young Canadian Iranian poet who goes to a film festival in Shiraz, is from a, a Canadian Iranian uh, the feminist poet, this young woman who said that um, it was like she was there, right? And that um, I hope that we can all spend the time to get to know each other better. And it, it really is true. It's like, it is like my kumbaya statement is it really is the human race, but we are, um, you know, like this pandemic, we are, we are in the same storm, but we're in different boats. And uh, I think difference is important and beautiful and should be celebrated. And so should all the things that make us come together. What was the, the phrase that you used, peace and understanding through poetry? I forget the phrase that was used to describe the film. Oh, what I, at the beginning here, when I said it's my peace, love and understanding film? Oh no, the, the phrase that you used uh to talk about the film um window horses well anyways you use poet you said that poetry was um i guess the medium to understand each oh other. yeah well poetry is amazing it's like this code like you know so much about this is about iranian poetry and also chinese poetry two cultures that are just steeped in in reverence of you know what was written a thousand years ago i only know them in translation Right, we all know the poetry of Rumi in translation, and uh, translation is an adaptation. You know, it's like a code from all this time ago, and we still feel so deeply what um, our ancestors felt. The same moon, we look at the same moon, we have the same feelings, we go through the same losses, and we have the same loves. Right, so I think poetry and adaptation and and film and art and everything it shows. Uh, us to each other, right? It shows us to ourselves. And, um, and that's why it's so powerful and so necessary. And, you know, what's getting us through like the worst of times, right? Okay, well, uh, enjoy the screening, everybody. Thank you for coming. And uh, I'm jealous that you get to be at a drive in right now. Thank you for watching our films. Enjoy.